be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We have uh, a lot of hype matches from Georgia area players that, uh, you know, have been kind of making some noise. Um, Hyper a little bit on the come up. You know, Fatality obviously getting second at uh, Civil War, showing everybody that Georgia's nothing to be laughed at and Falcon nothing to be laughed at. For sure. Which are the same thing. Georgia and Falcon are the same. You just want to see some really good smash. Just just go to uh, YouTube.com slash Type of House Games and yeah. you will not be disappointed. Not at all. All right, so we're coming into this. They're going to go Final Destination. Uh, I think this is actually a pretty neutral stage. This is a stage that Mega Man likes, but also Mario tends to like it. Um, you get more combos with Mario without anything to interrupt you and stuff like that. So we just got word in Ally beat Raph. Did Ally beat Raph? Seems so. Um, but anyways. No run back from last year then, but. So game one, we're going uh, right to uh, FD. Yeah, and, and our thing coming in. I gotta say, Arfang does have good uh, Mega Man experience, being that Peep Nut is in his region. Peep Nut, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, gonna have a little bit, probably more matchup experience than uh, Scat does in this. But, um, Scat's obviously played several Marios uh, in Nationals and even here in Georgia, so. Yeah. But man, yeah, so far, I mean, Arfang just took the damage and he's just holding on, so he's not committed to anything now. He's just gonna wait yeah. for every punish uh, he can get on Mega Man. And Leaf Shield, not doing a whole like lot. Not existent at that yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> really. Oh, good roll away from Scat right there. Almost ate that up smash. Cannot find a way in. Uh, Arfang really using the cape very well, um, <laughs> but gets stuck this time. Scat just running into that man. He really is. Um, trying to limit uh, as much as he can, but. Arfang doing a really good job at dealing with this. Uh, not getting caught by the lemons. Yeah, he's definitely just playing the matchup the way he should. Like, yeah. You, you never need, need to be too aggressive against a Mega Man because every approach you try to do, he's going to wall you out really well, especially since it's cat. Yeah, and he's doing a really good job using these fireballs um, to rack up what damage he can and just make Scat kind of stay in shield. Um, and also just take out the Metal Blade or the, the lemons or whatever it, they come into contact with. And he's more than doubled Scat up in percent. Oh, I see Scat what he's doing. He's uh, trying to use a Leaf Shield so the fire, uh, Mario's Fireball will hit on the shield so he doesn't have to like stop and shield to get in. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty good strategy from Scat right here, but still, he can't find much of an opening. Oh That's my gosh, the back air going to take it. Um, good stuff from Marfan calling out that recovery option from Scat. Going to have to consider what he needs to do. Yeah, but he's got keeping a straight face on the two phase right now. No. He just knows he has to play this out patient. Yep. Doing what he can. Uh, close out the space. Gets the uh, upwards hit. Uh, or, excuse me, the knockback hit on that neutral air right there. Uh, with the knockback on the cannon actually increases a little bit when you jump, and that's why you see Mega Man players do that. Throwing out the Metal Blade, but again, Scat's going to... Not, he's not found a way in. Uh, he might be getting his chip damage a lot, but he's not found a good way to get anything that would yeah, actually kill. He can only really poke in lemons in his yeah. uh, Metal Blade right now. Right? Not really able to get a solid hit in. No. Um, he's going to need a grab or, a, you know, a <laughs> an up tilt or up smash or something. 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 And to do that, he's going to have to get close. And Mario's okay. good up close. Back through, not going to kill yet. This is what he needs. Yeah. Oh, Mario just clipping through that leaf shield. Yeah, right I, I'm not stage. sure why that leaf shield does not affect him. He staled the lead, uh, the back throw a little bit. And and that's going to be kind of a problem here. And yeah, this I is where Scat crap. definitely needs to play his game right because on stage it looked like he wasn't able to do much, but no. uh, he can definitely read a get up or uh, yeah. get a ledge guard on Mario to get a kill at this point. Yeah, and, he, and he's done a really good job at reading his ledge get us. This time, though, Arfang making it back, starting a combo with back air. And uh, Scat gets the, uh, oh, <laughs> oh looking the for the air. conversion right there. Back air from the uh, Sticky Bomb. Or Crash Bomb. Ooh, yeah, it's falling right out. Name oh. in the back air going to kill. Back air with lots of knockback growth on it. And you know, man, Scat's only taking 66% right now, so he's not even out of it. No, but Arfing has done a really good job at uh, staying away. Playing this like he needs to, using his fireballs. Um, Staying at a distance for Mega Man, but outside of the limit range, but uh, close enough that he can get in when he needs to and get a grab. Right. You know, it's a, it's a very fine line that you have to walk, and Arfink's doing it really well. Ooh. All right. 
Oh, trying to go for Z drop, see if he can get a grab or any kind of conversion off of it. But Arfin gonna get the jabs in. He's got the crash bomb on him. And that leads to a grab, but no follow up from Scat. Yeah, time's running out on the clock too. Almost only yeah. a minute left, so uh, Scat's really gotta put in some work to yeah. try and win this game. Mario timeout on a Mega Man, not something I really ever thought I would see. No, not at all. But Arfang playing super patient, and I love the fact that he's not uh, getting super aggressive and getting impatient. Up to the match of 69%, and that's gone now. Back throw gonna come in. All right. I think it may mean heavy, so he's gonna live that for quite a bit. Yep. Though if he does get a back throw at the ledge, it might be death for Mega Man. Yeah. Okay, great up B. I saw what he tried and to do And he there. catches him with the back air. Scat Reed's knew it was okay. coming as soon as he picked the jump option. Yeah. And game one goes to Arfig. Yeah, next game I think Scat's going to have to do a good job trying to get the lead first against uh, Mario. So he won't have to do any of the approaching, it seems. Right, right. Because once uh, once Arfig took that lead, he, he kept it. He did, he did not commit to anything. No, no, he really didn't, and he was really good at just kind of dancing in and out, using his double jump to uh, help elevate those fireballs and drop them in from on top. Um, and even if they weren't doing damage knocking Scat back, they were taking away his projectiles and and, and pretty much actually making a wall for Mario. Um, yeah. Uh, very, very patient play, very good pay play. And what I really liked to see was the fact that he capitalized on the chances he got when he got the conversions, and he was able to get in there and get a grab. Yeah. Um, I think Scat might want to go to a place with some platforms. Yes, oh, Greenland. Uh, because that's going to help kind of alleviate the strategy our thing was doing right there. Dance around and use some fireballs. Um, it's not going to be as easy to do on this stage. So game two, probably going to see Scat playing a lot more patient, a lot more spaced yep. out against uh, Mario here. Yep. Trades a back air with a neutral air. And so far it's just lemon damage to a grab. Oh, good placement from the Metal Blade, but Arfing able to react to it and uh, fall, cancel his drift, come back with it. So Arfing's still able to, uh, or I'm sorry, Scott able to keep it a bit more even now. Uh, yeah. Now that it's not a FD, so it has a platform to help out, like you said. And the platforms are really great for those up airs, which is something Scott was able yeah. to use a little bit on Final Destination. He's going to be able to use it a lot more now um, to cover <laughs> Arfing's options. But again, Arfing's really just snuffing out everything Scat's trying to do. Yeah, Scat's also gonna be careful because Arfing is really solid with his Mario combos, and those platforms, they, they only benefit Mario when it comes to up airs. They really do. Especially when he has rage. But again, we're having this issue where Scat can't find any kind of a ground to get in. Uh, can't get the stage control. Arfing doing a good job kind of keeping to his half of the stage and making Scat stay on his. Right. And Mario with a better grab and conversions off that grab. So, uh, ooh, Super Glide Toss coming in. Good stuff from Scat. Would like to see him use that a little bit more to mix up. Can't get the grab. And he's low, but makes it back. Okay. Uh, yeah, Arfing, Good DI from Scat yeah, dealing out so he doesn't get hit by that pair. He gets grabbed again. This time, going to make it back. Using Dreamland's higher platform so that Mario's up smash definitely can't cover. All right. Camp and uh, Orphan really just dancing around. It's yeah. kind of beautiful, like patient Mario play. It just the last hit of that up smash, just barely on the tip of the cat catching him. Yeah, he was he he had spaced that up smash perfectly. Yeah, he hit Scott. Perfect spacing, and he's only at ninety percent. Scott getting a little frustrated. Can't find any kind of ground. And Arfin just playing his game right now. Okay. All right. Doesn't go for the up air. Yeah. I think he accidentally input an up smash instead. He gets grabbed. Arfin reading Again. every option from Scat. Oh. oh, going to end his life. Calls him out with the back air. Not a lot going on. Yeah, Scat just not really able to find an answer to this Mario. No, he really isn't. Bad matchup for Scat right now. Coming in with lemons and getting as much damage as he can. Is the backer going to do it off the side? No, it's not. Throws out the metal blade. Mario catches it and then the yeah, ledge trump to the back air and he takes it. 79% though. Right, uh, so Mega Man is pretty heavy being a robot and all. So maybe he's able to live here, but Arfing trying to end his life now. Yeah, he definitely racked up that extra credit. Yeah. Really nice. Covering as much as he can with these up airs. 
There's really good zoning tools right there from Skat, covering every option that Mario has, but that Kate just reflecting the up air away. It's been very a really big key in this matchup. You know, sometimes we talk about reflectors against Mega Man, but uh, our thing has actually been using them effectively. Mm -hmm. right, so Scott has him off stage. That's exactly yeah. where he wants him. Yep, looking to see if he can get a gimp with that back air. Can't quite do it. Coming back across the stage, he's got him back to 50%. Uh, did that crash bomb hit? I don't think so. Back air's not gonna or back throw's not gonna kill yet. Gonna make it oh. back, and he gets down tilt to forward aired. And Scat is going down 0-2 right now, coming into game three. Arfang going for this uh, upset. Yeah, definitely timing that two frame down tilt really well just to get that uh, uh, that spike. But um, I wonder if we're gonna see a switch from Scat. I, I think he kind of, I, I think he can kind of tell the the Mega Man isn't working out too well. So yeah, I think maybe we'll see a switch to. Maybe Ryu or Cloud. I know he has uh, a few a few secondaries that he can use. Um, I'm not sure that he wants to. He's been doing a lot better uh, with Mega Man now, um, and he just got a little bit of pep talk from Neos. But he's talking about the stage that he wants to go to, and he's thinking about his options. I mean, on your tournament stock, it's really hard to to switch off your comfort character. You yeah, know? but sometimes, you know, I guess he's gonna stick with it, which maybe he should, but. Yeah, sometimes you need that switch up, but I think Scat's got to have confidence in his abilities yeah. as a Mega Man um, to bring this back. For sure. All right. Thinking about what he can do. Going in Smashville here. All right. I like this choice for Scat. Um, you know, the, the final station didn't work out and the tri platform didn't work out, so maybe the uh, the moving the platform. platform will. <laughs> Gets the back air. And again, I like Scat. He's playing much more in his face right now. And Arfing is off the stage, can't really find a way back. Oh, almost getting that down air spike. Yeah, it doesn't get the spike. It's a, it looks like he got the hit, it seems, yeah. but unfortunately not getting the spike. Down throw to up tilt. See what Arfing can do off of it. Not a whole lot. Gets another re grab, though. Up air to back air combos. Oh, that was a decent read off that rush coil. I think he, he knew that was coming. Mario's combos, man. Just yeah. And now Arfing taking the lead. Um, again, Skat trying to push it a little bit. He's playing a little bit more fast paced this match, trying to mess with Arfing's timing. and. Yeah, he's definitely got to switch it up in this game. After those yeah. last two games, he uh, not really having an answer to his Mario walling him out with the fireballs and just punishing. Yeah, almost every option Scout was doing, he definitely needs to definitely needs to switch it up this time. Right. Um, maybe go away from his projectile so much and see if he can get some uh, back airs and forward airs in to extend some combos and whatnot. Yeah. All right. Um, but still, Arfing using that same strategy, dancing around, using these fireballs. Scat catches him in an up air. He's got him off stage. Can he convert, or is Arfing going to bring this to a 3-0 victory over one of the world's best players? Yeah, definitely having a peep nut in his state. Uh, another top Mega Man in this. Oh, uh, gets the downward tilt oh. on that forward smash. And Scat shaking his head. But yeah, Arfang definitely showing he has the match experience. Yes. He is. No slouch. Actually getting that charge one moved on to Scat, but I mean, still anyone's game right here. Yeah, Scat just needs one solid hit right now. That will be the stock for Mario. And uh, Arfang just trying to knock on as much damage as he can. Throwing the fireballs. Mega Man really doesn't have a good answer for that. Yeah, before he was trying to use the Leaf Shield to try and get in, but yeah. I guess he just kind of figured out it wasn't really working out. Nope. Oh, looking for the grab. Seeing if he might get up back through there that might kill. Looking for the short hop back here. But Arfing again playing so patient. Couldn't be content to go for a timeout if he has to. It rides him off the top of the up air. And we are back to an even count in stock. Arfing going to take his time right here. Right, so Scat, breath. Scat finally finding that small opening for yep. a kill. 
Takes every advantage he can of that. So, yeah. uh, but now um, Arfang doesn't really have to play as safe as he did uh, anymore in that last stock. So, right. But I mean, still playing a really safe game uh, yeah. with these retreating fireballs off a of full hop. That's not something a lot of characters can punish, and Mega Man definitely cannot. Right. And it's something to jump over. Um, Scat really not having an answer for it. Gets the down tilt in. Looks for the read. Oh, oh. barely misses the timing on that spot dodge. And Arfang turning this into a combo of his own. Yeah, Arfang kind of looked like he was expecting the, the grab. So definitely made a smart decision to spot dodge yes. right there. Looking for the up airs again. Starts pressure him on that platform. Yeah. And Arfang, oh, <laughs> trying to get the uh, stage control with the flood. Interesting. A crowd has gathered here trying to watch this match to see if Arfing can upset one of Georgia's top players and uh, one of the top 50 players in the world in Scat. Yeah, everyone always wants to see the other Oh, uh, B, not going to do it. Mega Man really heavy, not going to ride that far off the top. Air Dodge just threw that uh, crash bomb and falls away from it. Really good knowledge from uh, Arfing knowing how to deal with that. Scat looking for the forward air, poorly spaces, it gets grabbed. He's gonna make it back to the ledge, but can he make it back to the stage? Yes. Arfing very liberal with his cage use, cape use here, and it's something that I like to see that, and that a lot, a lot of Mario's will use even in this matchup. Um, yeah, that was really good what Scat did there. He was using the uh, the lemons to just slowly creep up on Mario and then just rushing in with that grab. Yep. I like the mix-ups with the Super Glide Toss, seeing if he can find some way in, doing the fact that he that he gets the extra, uh, well, glide with it. Mm -hmm. um, Seeing if he could bait a grab right there and get an early kill with back throw. <laughs> and Arvang looking for the up smash, which will do it. Get awareness of Scat. Back throw, that's not going to get killed. Arvang looking for that uh, pivot back throw. And he gets the oh. air dodge. And Arvang has knocked Scat out of bracket. Scat.